Hello everyone. In this video, I will talk about daylight simulation using an online tool developed by Andrew March. You will find the link in the description provided below. The application is called Dynamic Daylight. This tool runs on a web page. You don't need to install it. You need only a browser like Google Chrome. If you find some issues with Google Chrome, you can switch to another browser like Firefox or Edge. This presentation will be divided up into three sections. Firstly, I will talk about the tool interface. Secondly, I will show you how we can easily change the geometry. And thirdly, I will show you how we can get daylight calculations. So let's get started. Firstly, the tool interface. The interface, as you can see here, is quite interactive. You have got a range of tools here top left and top right, bottom left and bottom right. Now let's start with this one, daylight factor. This section shows histogram for the results. The, the, the daylight factor, if you don't know it, is really important in architecture. It's the ratio of the light level inside the structure to the level outside the structure. It is defined as the indoor illuminance divided by the outdoor illuminance multiplied by 100%. For example, if we have an overcast sky and outdoor we have 5,000 lux and indoor we have 100 lux and we want to, to get the daylight factor, we make only 100 multiplied by 5,000 and we'll find that the daylight factor equals to 2%. Next, we have sky distribution model. And here, we, we can change. It depends the type of sky we have, or we want overcast or sky uniform. Underneath, you have climate-based analysis. And here, you can change some parameters like the daylight threshold which is really important which means that the target in terms of luminance we want for instance here we have 300 likes next we have uh, info room here we find some information about the room dimensions like the width the depth the height and we have some information about uh, the wall the window and the floor. Next, here we have the daylight model where we can add some external abstractions, horizontal shade. Here we have the weather data. Here we have the daylight analysis. And here we have the daylight grid the model display as well, and radiance render if we want to go further, and model data in order to load the model data or save model data here. Let's move to the other side, the right side. Here we have some model settings if we want to change the parameters regarding the size, the fabric and reflectance. The window properties, if we want to change the frame, frame, dividers, and transmittance. And if you want to change it, you need only to press here on the slider. And you can see that the results are changing here. We'll talk about this point later. And here we have some daylight settings. And here we can change the date, the time, and location. You need only to press on this button or type the day you want. You can change the location and the sites. Here we have some view settings. We can change the projection. And it updates automatically. Underneath, we have some display settings.
And here we have some snap settings. This is about how we can, this is about the, the tools we find on the interface. Now let's talk about how we can change the geometry. The geometry can be changed easily. You need only to press here to change, to, ch to type the dimension you want, or you need only to select, for instance, the, the wall you want and press here on this button to change the geometry of the windows or to change the geometry of the walls dimensions or the room dimensions. One amazing shortcuts that you can use. If you want to remove, for instance, this window, you need only to select the window vertically, and then you type the letter X and it will remove. The same thing here, you select the window and press or type the letter X, it will remove. And if you want to add a new window, you need firstly to select the wall, then type the letter I, like here. The same thing here, just type the letter X and it will remove. If you want to make this window bigger, you need only to press on this button, like this. This is how you can change the geometry. So it is easy. Now let's move to the third part of our presentation. Let's see some, some results, some day daylight results, some daylight calculations. For instance, if we want to change the window transmittance, let's go to the window properties, transmittance here. And as you know, there is difference between single glazing, double glazing, and triple glazing. Transmittance for, for single glazing, it is 0 0.9, which means that 90% of the daylight will go through. Let's see the results. For instance, the results can be sh shown in 3D. For instance, here, if I change the transmittance of the window, 90% for the single glazing, and 70% for double glazing, for instance, And if I use triple glazing, maybe it will be 0.5. Only 50% of the light will go through. And you see, the results are updating interactively. Now I want to add an overhang. To do so, you need to go to daylight model, or firstly, you need to select the window, go to daylight model, and add horizontal shade. Then you, you need to make some changement or some change on the overhang by pressing this button. And you can see that the results are already changing The same thing here, the daylight factor is changing. That's it guys. I hope this video was useful. So if you want to go further, 
to see more applications, you need just to go to this uh, web page and to see more application here. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time with another video.